Hello, welcome. Try this problem on your own and then press play and we'll solve it together. So, let's see. The function v of t equals 1350 times 1.017 t to the t power, excuse me. So, and they want to know, if you read through this question, they're asking you, uh, what is the uh, appreciation? Which is another way of saying, what is the rate of growth? Or the percent growth? So, uh, a simple way of looking at this is to understand how the exponential equation works. And that is to say that this is the starting value, this number right here. And inside of parentheses, this is where you find either your growth or your decay. Growth is when you value gains, decay is when you lose value. Uh, v of t is our output. In this case, it's the value of something. It's the output in general. And the, the exponent here um, refers usually to some kind of input or, uh, in this case, time interval for appreciation. So how do you read the growth and decay? Well, this is always built around 1 because 1 equals 100%. So essentially, if I see 1.017, I know that's the 100% plus 1.7% because 1.7% is 0.017. So this is a combination of growth, a growth rate of 1.7%, which is choice 2. Um, a, a decay function, you might see something like, well, let's, let's say we're, we're losing 1.7%. That would be, uh, you would see 0 0. 0.983, right? How do I know that? Well, this is 100% minus 1.7%, which is equal to 98.3%, and that is 0.983. So you would see that here in the parentheses. But if that's not making sense, another way to think about it is to simply calculate what's going on here. So you might make a table and then analyze it in a calculator. You might say, okay, let's see what's going on here. I want to know what happens when t is 0, 1, and 2. And from those three time inputs, you can find the percent change. So if I plug in 0, it's just going to be 1,350 because 1 1.017 to the 0 power for t, that's just 1. And 1,350 times 1 is 1,350. Then we take 1,350 and multiply it by 1.017, oops, 1,350 times 1 1.017 to the first power, which is just 1.017. And that is 1372, right, 0.95. Now the next time, we're going to square that, or essentially multiply it um, by another 1.017, right? So we can just simply multiply it by another 1.017. And that gets us 1396.29015. So to figure out the percent change, we want to figure out what happened here between any two points on the graph. I'm going to use these two points right here because they're a lot friendlier. So I noticed that um, 1372.95 minus 1350, that change, what is that? Well, that's 22.95. And that is, right, the change over one year. So the question is, how much did we gain, right? What percent gain is this? So we want to find out what percent gain that is out of the original amount or the starting amount in our interval. So what is 22.95 out of 1350? What percent is that? I'm going to say, what is that out of 100 as a percent? So to solve for x, all I have to do is multiply both sides by 100. So it's 100 times 22.95 over 1350, and that equals x. That's our percent change. So we can just do that calculation. Um, and 22.95 times 100 is just 22.95. Decimal moves to the right two times. And we divide it by 1350. And you can see here that it's a percent change of 1.7. We gained 1.7%. That's what we have here. So that's a way of thinking about it uh, by just making a table, finding how much you added onto it, and then taking that amount out of uh, the beginning value out of 1350 in this case. Any interval you, you look at, you want to take it out of the starting value in that interval and solve it for a percent and you can see the gain. Otherwise, you can just look at the number in here and see how far it is from 1. If it's above 1, 
that's an added percent. If it's below 1, that's a subtracted percent. Thank you. <laughs>